Hello, I'm Pastor Horace Doughty near Lexington, Virginia, and each Sunday morning I bring you a Bible meditation uh, by way of YouTube, and I encourage you, if you enjoy these presentations, that you share them with your family and your friends. Go to Horace Doughty, D-O-U-T-Y, YouTube, and you will find them. Today, the title of the meditation is Jesus ordered a vacation. Do you feel guilty whenever you take time off? Many people do. They have, have absorbed the Protestant worth, work ethic, and they believe that every waking moment should be spent in productive activity. I know because I grew up in such a, a home environment, and to some degree it shaped my life and continues. For whatever reason, I enjoy work. Obviously, I'm not alone. Other people do as well. Not once in my childhood did I hear a preacher urge his congregation to take a vacation. The subject was not discussed anywhere that I recall, even among my friends. One of my father's favorite church hymns was, Work for the Night is Coming. He would sing it on a weary afternoon in the corn harvest. It's a good song. It carries a worthy message. Oddly, you don't find it in most modern hymn books. The work ethic seems to have receded in our culture. Whether that trend is good or bad can be debated, but one thing is clear and surprising. Jesus Christ believed in taking a vacation. In Mark, the disciples had come back from their missionary tour, and Jesus said to them, you need a break. Let's head out into the country for a spell of rest and relaxation. So all 13 men boarded a boat, probably Peter's fishing boat, and sailed to what Mark calls a desert place. Jesus did not guide them into a harsh and hostile wilderness. He knew the terrain. From boyhood, he had explored those hills and valleys where the grass was green and the brook was clear. He had dreamed his dreams. Be aware, our Savior loved nature. Looking at his weary disciples, he thought of a choice spot that he had long loved, remote from the towns where all was sweet and quiet and healing. I hope you have such a spot. In our fruitful area here in the Valley of Virginia, they are beyond number. I would love to show Jesus our bountiful valley. Nothing in Judea comes close to the abundance. And wherever you look in this valley, you enjoy scenery unsurpassed on planet Earth within walking distance. I believe the wonders of nature to be one of God's greatest gifts, and you are blessed beyond most people, in that God has allowed you to live in such richness. Jesus said to his friends, come aside and rest, take a break. Can you hear him advising you to do the same thing? Choose your pleasant stream or meadow or mountain, absorb the beauty, appreciate nature, be thankful, it can restore your soul. Although Jesus and his group sailed away, somebody must have known where they were going because they came. They followed him around miles around the edge of the lake. The crowd circled the lake and found them, and the quiet vacation would have to be put off. Jesus instead spent that afternoon teaching the multitude many things they needed to know. And before dusk, he fed them more than 5,000 hungry mouths with food left over. It was a good day, even though Jesus' best laid plans were dramatically interrupted and there was no vacation. This Bible story is one of many which show how down to earth is the wisdom of Jesus. Here he was intent on changing the world with his handful of ordinary men 
He knew time was limited, yet common sense demanded a vacation. His men had earned a break. They had completed an exhausting mission. It was time for a change. Some people are not as perceptive as Jesus. They don't realize that workers benefit from a break. Homemakers and mothers need a holiday with no responsibility for meals and babies and laundry. I've often heard men proudly boast, I've never taken a vacation. Well, they may not be as wise as they think. And even when work is a pleasure, a change of scenery can be productive. Jesus said so, and he got it from the Ten Commandments, which clearly says, every seven days, take off and rest. A vacation is better when you have earned it. Some people have nothing to do but play. And if you envy them, think again. Jesus told the story of a farmer whose crops were so abundant he would never have to work again. And that farmer made a resolution. From now on, I will nourish my soul with nothing but play and party. Well, Jesus said that man was a fool even though the plan sounds pretty good to our ears. Jesus made it clear that abundant life must include time for work and time for play, plus a most important ingredient, prayer and worship, to feed your soul. And that's what you do when you go to church. Notice Jesus did not say to his men, you go. No, he said, come with me and rest. He went with them. The men did not object. Their vacation would be even richer with Jesus as their companion. That may work the same with you. I think of Lake Robertson, only a few miles from here. Every summer Sabbath, other churches, community churches, provide a brief worship service at that resort, and most of the campers do not attend. And their attitude is, go to church? Are you crazy? I'm on vacation. If you consider it a chore to spend time with God, let me help you. The streams and the breezes are sweeter when you whisper, thank you, God. Going to church may not be convenient, but look what you gain. You take on nourishment, which makes your week brighter. Your heart becomes brave. Your arms strong. Your soul is refreshed but not simply your soul, your body is healthier. We now know that you live longer if you take time for meditation. Welcome God into your work and play. He will never diminish your pleasure. Although Jesus cherished solitude and spent whole nights alone, notice how his time, this one, he chose to stay with his friends. They would enjoy companionship together. Jesus obviously intended them to absorb the warmth and the refreshment of friendship. A vacation may be your perfect time to bond with those you love, away from the stress and schedule of work world. Pay attention then to this common sense command of Jesus. Earn a vacation, then take it. Allow the summer sunshine to soothe and heal. Winter will come and you may need those resources. A refreshing break can often add to your productivity. Your home always looks more welcome when you've been away. Your routine takes on a different color after re you return. You may discover a new direction for your weary work. Keep in mind, Jesus loves you. He came, he said, to set you on the path of abundant life. You can trust his wisdom, his affection, it's what our religion is all about. He would never steer you wrong. You've been taught many of his rules since childhood. So don't overlook this command, which you may not have heard before. Come aside and rest. Amen. God bless you.